on black girl magic Baby hair on fleek, blue cheese oh. on me Lot of lights on me, black girl magic Black girl magic, baby hair on fleek All these lights on me, black girl magic Yeah, 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 yeah Got that black girl magic What's up y'all, it's your girl B. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Real quick before the video ends, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let's get right into it. So first off, I look how I miss. My hair is extremely nappy. Like I've been wearing this thing on ponytail, puffball, whatever, for like two weeks. I have yet to comb my hair till now. As you can see, I'm not using a comb because the naps are very real. So I'm just going to spray my hair with some water just to try to section off so I can go ahead and detangle it. So I decided to start this video off with my hair not freshly washed, just so people can see that I don't just wash my hair and it's just easy and manageable. Like, no, I have to actually detangle it before I wash it. If not, it's going to look the same way it did before I washed it. So as you can see, I'm taking my time as I'm sectioning my hair off. I'm not pulling my hair too hard. I'm spraying water when necessary, just to make the process a little bit easier. So once I finish sectioning my hair, I just put the sections and twist because it's easy for me to take down when I start detangling my hair. Okay, so this is the part where I really go in with the water and that conditioner that I showed earlier. I swear, water and conditioner is your best friend when you're natural and you're trying to detangle your hair. And make sure you're really going in with that conditioner, like make sure it's fully distributed through your hair. Use a generous amount because the more the better it's going to make your hair so easy to detangle. See how big of a difference that made? So normally I would just put my hair back in those same twists. But because I decided to let my hair sit in the condition overnight, I just went ahead and braided it down. This is the very next day. Uh, I'm just going to show you what products I'll be using. And I must say, um, it was my very first time using this. Uh, Carol's Daughter Combing Cream and I actually really liked it. It was worth the price that I paid. Okay, now I'm going to start by taking out one of those back sections just so I can work that combing cream through and go ahead and detangle my hair some more for my ponytail. Normally I would use that same uh, paddle brush, I guess that's what it's called. To detangle my hair but I was too lazy to wash it out so I just used a smaller one that I had I am so rude like how's life how are you if you're still watching comment down below let's see one new thing you've learned since this whole pandemic thing has started just make sure you're fully detangling your hair cuz you don't want no surprise nap to pop up right when you're trying to smooth your hair down for your ponytail. I like to make sure my hair is fully combed out on the ends because I am putting on like a fake ponytail. So I always braid down my bun. I don't know why I grabbed that little amount of gel knowing I need a whole glob on my fingers. You don't see it here, but I did end up adding more gel as I started smoothing my hair down. I always split my hair in half when I'm doing a ponytail or a bun, just because my hair is extremely thick, as you can see. For that first ponytail, I just use a rubber band just because it's thin and I don't need that ponytail to be extremely tight anyways. As I just said, I'm not doing that back ponytail tight just because I don't want all that tension in the back of my hair. I'll make the ponytail tighter once I pull the front back. I just want to say that combing cream is the truth. It has a really good slip on it, but it's also moisturizing my hair and it smells really good. I ain't gonna lie, I'm cheap when it comes to hair products. I have a very minimal amount of things that I use and put on my hair.
I'm basically doing the exact same thing I just did to the back of my hair. I'm a middle part type of girl just because it's easy for me to lay my hair down that way. So normally I would use a harder brush, but the one I use just so happened to magically disappear. So this is all I had available right now and I keep forgetting to buy a harder brush when I go to the beauty supply store. So now this is when I make my ponytail tight. And don't worry about it not being as smooth. We're gonna take care of that in the next clip. This is what I personally use, just because it doesn't dry crusty dusty on my edges. And just like before, make sure you're applying a generous amount so we can go ahead and work that in. I started using the brush but realized it wasn't hard enough so I ended up using my little broken comb. You can do your edges however you want. I was kind of in a rush and I didn't have time to be messing up, so I kind of just stuck to the basic. I really don't remember the name of these, but I'm assuming they're just called a paper wrap. But I use these before I tie my hair down because I feel like sometimes the scarf that I use, because my hair is wet, it kind of gets caught on it when I'm taking it off. As you can see, I was kind of struggling because I should have braided my ponytail up first before I tried to start tying a whole knot in the back of my head. See, I should have did this step before the last one, but I'm only doing this just because I'm wearing a fake ponytail and I don't like my hair to get caught on the clip, so I'll go ahead and just braid it down first. I really just grabbed the first ponytail that had some length on it out my box that I seen. I couldn't tell you when I bought it, how much it was, or what's the name of it, honestly. But I'm just going ahead and spraying some water and adding some product to it just to try to detangle it some because it was extremely dry. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is really old. Okay, see how those clips on the top and on the bottom? The way I do my ponytail when it's lower in my head, which I'm going to show you in the next clip, I kind of turn it to the side instead of doing it up and down. That just relieves some of the tension that would be in the back of my hair. Okay, once you have that ponytail secure, just go ahead and take that drawstring and wrap it around the ponytail. Then you're going to take a piece of hair from the back of your ponytail and just wrap that around the ponytail the same way you did the drawstring. Just make sure you have at least one bobby pin in sight so you can go ahead and pin that piece of hair up so it doesn't fall. After that, I went ahead and tied my hair down and left the house because I was in a rush. I apologize for not getting a good ending video, but I kind of kept my scarf on until I got to where I needed to be. But this is how my hair came out. As you can see, I'm outside in the sun, hair still laid, slayed. 
Okay, so I ain't got nothing else around with that, but I hope you guys found this video helpful in any way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.